Our Time Machine program is based upon years of research in laser light therapy. In order to help you understand the highly scientific background of the Time Machine program, let us briefly discuss the subject of light. Therefore, our topic is light and photons. We owe our current knowledge of light to Albert Einstein. His very first paper was over 100 years ago, and it was the foundation of what light actually is. So let's get to it. Light energy is comprised of discrete, tiny packets of electromagnetic energy called photons. See the light on the left-hand side, traditional light bulb, giving off and radiating the light. And pretty much after that, you see nothing but light in the room. But what is happening that you do not see is giving off these tiny photons of energy that is circulating and illuminating the entire light. The time machine program is effective because it adheres to the principles of photobiology. This is defined as the effects of these photons of light on our tissue cells. And the first law of photobiology is that a lower level of light is absorbed by a receptor in the deeper skin layer known as the skin's dermal layer. And that sets into motion many skin rejuvenation and healing actions that can best be described by the term photobiomodulation. In order to do that, it is imperative that laser therapy wavelength of light must be such that it softly penetrates the skin without burning off the skin, as in the usual case of ablation of the tissue. And for this healing or youthening effect to occur, this can only happen when it was within what is scientifically known as the optical window. As you see by the accompanying slide, the absorption, the wavelengths, and the different axis of the graph. To the left-hand side of where 600 is, things are blocked off. To the right-hand side of where the 1200, things are blocked off. But in between 6 and 1200, when you have a wavelength, it's at those levels the photons or energy are able to bypass the upper layers of skin without burning them and gently go down to the skin membrane where the receptor sites are located. Let's discuss the photon initiation of photobiomodulation. You see the little tiny peas on the top layer. These are the photon discrete packets of energy. They've already gone through the skin nicely without burning. They go through the cell membrane, cell membrane down to the area called the mitochondria. These, as you may have remembered, are where the powerhouse of the cell is. Inside that mitochondria, you see that little circle CCO. That means cytochrome C oxidase. Once that is stimulated, that's the beginning of photobiomodulation. So that the first element first molecule pouring out of the CCO is ATP itself. And we know that ATP is absolutely necessary for the energy and the muscle needed for cell building and repair. The activation of the CCO also causes the release of nitric oxide. The nitric oxide widens and opens up the surrounding microcirculation and increases the vascularity so that there's an increase in the nutrient delivery to the cells. Further, there's additional oxygen delivery to the cells for enhanced mitochondrial respiration. Further, there's more complete and faster removal of byproducts and toxins, and therefore even enhanced enzymatic activity. The release of the ROS, which is known as reactive oxygen species. It's an event that will increase the growth factors for tissue proliferation, repair, and rejuvenation. This production causes a cascade of events to increase new collagen production, repairs weakened collagen, increases fibroblasts, increase the platelet-derived growth factor, and increases cell longevity by decreasing apoptosis, which is the cellular death. Therefore, our cells are also, besides being rejuvenated, those that exist are going to last longer and be repaired. To review how important of all this is, as far as increasing the growth factors, it enhances the formation of fibroblasts. Now, these are the cells that actually secrete the protein 
to form your collagen and elastic fibers and substance that holds the cells together in the connective tissue. The creatinocytes, these are the cells that form the protective outer layer of your skin. That's her first protection, the first defense against infection. Furthermore, the endothelial cells that are created, these actually form the inner lining of your blood vessels. Thus, your therapy fully rejuvenates tissue with healthier and increased blood supply for the skin's health. We have reviewed the background of light and without any burning or downtime from work, how the Time Machine program will give you the healthier, more radiant, and smoother appearing skin. Behold the new you.